there is this little known eggplant called giló. Well, little known outside of Brazil that is, because there it enjoys widespread infamy and love. Some swear by it, others despise it and use it as a symbol of disgusting taste. The thing is, they are small green oblong fruit packed with a pungent bitter taste. I won't sugarcoat it. This thing is bitter. It makes me laugh inside when I hear people describe regular eggplants as bitter. They are like sugar compared to this one. If only they knew. After scouring the web and finding seeds on eBay, I was ready to grow this rare veggie I had a love-hate relationship with as a child. I've learned to love it, and if you like bitter, this might just be the veggie for you. So I decided to grow it. Of course, I didn't just plant it by itself. I grouped it with lettuce as a companion plant. This would work with regular eggplants also. I started the seeds indoors in winter to have them start producing earlier. This is also a great tip on growing regular eggplants. Around April, I planted them outside, spacing them about 10 inches apart on soil amended with organic fertilizer. I planted red leaf lettuce in between the eggplant seedlings. Since the lettuce grows fast, they would help cover the ground around the slow-growing Gila eggplant, preventing quick-growing weeds from emerging and taking over the eggplant. Intercropping slow-growing plants with fast-growing crops is a great tip to increase yield and diversity in your garden. The Gila plants were growing well. Of course, there were insects attacking the plants. Flea beetles always emerge around May to pester the eggplants. They end up disappearing in late June, and most of the times do not do more damage than a few holes in the leaves. Since I don't eat the leaves, I can live with that. The red lettuce was showing exuberant growth, so I went out to harvest the first lettuce heads. There is absolutely nothing that compares to truly fresh lettuce. You literally cannot buy just pick plants. It was so tender and at the same time stout. They did have a few insect bites, but the presence of an unexpected friendly young praying mantis made me happy to know I had not tried to kill bugs even with organic solutions. I was sure this insect was one of the many newborn mantises controlling pests, maintaining the balance. Using compounds like neem oil and other natural insecticides will help keep pests in check, but will also decimate beneficials like this praying mantis. I decided to put him back on the other plants so he could resume its duty. Whenever possible, I prefer to be less interventionist in the garden. Of course, the lettuce had a few holes from insects, but these were minor and didn't bother the plant at all and ensured me I was eating healthy food. I heard once that the Japanese preferred to buy veggies that show minor imperfections, as they are a sign of truly organic cultivation. Now, I'm not sure this is true. I don't exactly remember the source I heard that from, and I cannot vouch for its veracity. But it is a nice insight nonetheless. A few weeks later, I was harvesting the last of my lettuce. It had been a fantastic crop. I could count on getting daily a large bouquet of greens for supremely fresh salads. In fact, there are reports from reputable sources claiming that marred produce may pack more nutrition. When a plant is attacked, it produces more phytochemicals to protect itself, and these phytochemicals are little understood but important nutrients for human health. The Gila eggplant was growing well and putting out flowers and setting fruit. Harvest started in midsummer. This bitter Brazilian eggplant is usually picked when green and immature, and it's sauteed with garlic, onions, and salt and eaten as a side with rice. I got a good initial first harvest, but more was to come. Of course, if you forget to harvest them green, they grow a bit larger and turn bright orange red. At this stage, the seeds inside are more pronounced. In Brazil, it is not usually consumed when mature. As the plants were churning out fruit, a couple of weeks later, I neglected to harvest them in time and ended up with a basket full of a bit too mature fruit. Of course, I tasted them, 
and at this stage they lose much of their bitter taste and develop thicker skin. In a way they lose their kicks, so I understand why people prefer to eat them when smaller and more bitter. I have to say it is an acquired taste, but those who love it swear by it. I've learned to like it. I had to because I ended up harvesting several basketfuls as this season progressed. I froze most of it to enjoy during winter. I was happy with the outcome, especially with the abundant lettuce harvest in the beginning. If you plan to grow gelat or any other eggplant, you may take this companion planting pointer. It's a great use of space in small gardens.